Well, just when you thought you had seen it all in the octagon, we are graced with the presence of one Cassius Clay, Muhammad Ali, taking his act to mix martial arts. I mean, he's so pretty, John. Now, he always says, I'm so pretty. He looked pretty inside the boxing ring. He intends to do the same thing inside the octagon tonight. This guy is such a great athlete. He talks what he's going to do, but he also delivers. Olympic gold medalist, boxing heavyweight, light heavyweight world champion. He has done it all. A true icon in combat sports makes his UFC debut tonight. And to the surprise of some, he told us in the fighter meeting he's got an appetite for the wrestling stuff. So we'll see if Ali can mix it up a little bit tonight. Happy to have him here in the UFC. The greatest of all time, Muhammad Ali ready to battle and take home that elusive UFC goal. All right, so here he is, the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion, Tom Aspinall. He has put UK on the map. And certainly Michael Bisping and Leon Edwards deserve a lot of credit, but now the UK has a heavyweight champion and he hasn't even arrived at his fighting prime. We heard a lot about the grappling of Tom Aspinall and just how good he was in that realm. But his striking is outstanding. He's got the power to go with the speed. He moves as well with the footwork as any heavyweight on the roster. And that's really the big challenge for the opposition here tonight. Power to be sure on the other side, but how are they gonna keep up with Tom Aspinall with the lateral movement, the jab, and everything else that he presents and poses on the feet? Well, a lot of us remember when this arena was erected and a lot of UFC history has played out here since. Eddie Hot Arena sold out tonight in Abu Dhabi for the latest UFC pay-per-view. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Here once more is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed USC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Muhammad Ali. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending USC heavyweight champion of the world, Tom Espinal. One of the best in the business, Herb Dean, is our referee tonight. Ready. All right, early round action here, and the wins and bonuses just continue to pile up for the budding heavyweight contender, Tom Aspinall. Truly a five-tool player when it comes to his skills, but in this particular matchup, he believes the ground game is going to be his bread and butter. He believes we're looking at a submission finish here tonight. Oh, nice takedown defense. Oh, big knee of the body. That'll soften him up. Now he gets a more dominant position with the underhook. He is going to start to drive knees over and over. You got to be careful here. You got to move. Oh, this place is going nuts. We got a brawl on our hands, folks. The fans are out of their seat. These guys are getting after him. Great punch landed with so much power. Ooh, we didn't see that one coming. Beautiful combination up top. I mean, these guys are letting it fly. What a pace that they're fighting at. Big power shot there. Oh. Feels like the beginning of the end. Back 
Back and forth we go. Oh, and now the underhook, DC. He's got the underhook. He's got the far side pull. If you're the opponent, you have to get out of here. Some nice power there with the left hook upstairs. Aspinall going for the takedown here. Nothing doing that. Four strikes to the head. Nice body shot. Just over three minutes to go in our first round. Right on the button. Takedown defense holds up. Aspinall's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Big punches. Oh, he did a great job of rotating him into an underhook. Nice front kick. And potentially a critical takedown here. Aspinall's in half goal. Ooh, right into side control, DC. This is where you want to be now because you get to make your opponent decide. They try to turn back in. He's in a dominant position. Look at him attacking the wrist. Oh, he's got the Kimura locked in. Great submission defense. He's able to take his arm out and stay safe. Nice positional control here. He's having his way with him here. Well, this is some serious pressure from the top by Aspinall. Beautiful transition. Aspinall is able to make a nice transition there back into side control. I need you to be active on the ground now. Oh, it looks like he's got him in a crucifix now, DC. A lot of body weight from the top position. How does he go about trying to finish this fight? He just needs to stay heavy. He's got to keep his weight down. He's got to be working, but not working recklessly because this is a position that you can escape. Make sure you secure your opponent and make sure you secure your opponent. Land strikes that matter and end this fight. Beautiful punch lands there. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fight a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class, hands up, 10 down. Just misses with a left hook there. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the ladder rounds. Nice jab by Ali. Oh, nice. Nice. Aspinall's cheek looks like it's cut. Yes, it is. Starting to bleed a little bit now. That's a big hook. Not a fight so far. All right, so that's the end of the round. Pretty significant damage done in that round. Cut on the cheek, sustained there from that strike. Now the cut man's got to get in there and close that thing up. Better to be below the eye than above it, sure. But nonetheless, this could be a factor now moving forward. All right, so there's the end of the round. He stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landed a seminal blow in that round. It was accumulation of those strikes. He kept hitting it over and over to the head. Eventually, he found the, the one that really did damage his opponent. You ready to fight? Ready. Second round here. All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth with action in the previous round. Yes, it wasn't a far fight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kitchen sink at each other. But you did see times where they came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. Oh. Great timing on that double leg. Aspinall's in half goal. Pretty good head movement. He's avoiding a lot of these ground strikes. What a nasty kick. That was thrown with 
ill intent. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes up. Well, the most significant stat in this fight, and you can see it right there in plain sight, bottom of your screen, the body strikes. His opponent has had absolutely no answer. He hasn't lowered his guard with the Aspen against the double leg takedown. How good was that? All right, well, he's got him softened up here. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. All right, so that opened up a cut around his eye area. He hasn't moved his head well. He was taking shots too clean, and now a cut has opened up. Lands a big elbow there. Got to be careful here. Aspinall's right back to the full mount. Print the shirts, ground and pound. Ooh, arm triangles in tight. It's getting in very tight. All right, so now going to position over submission as he bails on the sub. Oh, the ground and pound is coming. Good movement to avoid some of that power coming back. Nicely done. And now he's got the back. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. We'll see what he does here. He postures up and lands to the head. Another ground and pound strike gets home. Oh, he got to his spot. Nicely done there as he forces the miss from his opponent. Well, working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Aspinall. Well, eventually he's going to try to get up, but he's moving his head pretty well here to avoid damage on the ground. You don't want to be comfortable on your back, but when you're taken down, you got to make sure you're active, and that's exactly what he's doing. All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to harm. Oh, yeah, he's landing very accurately, and he's landing to get damage off. An unlock now. Oh, he's got it locked in tight now. Oh, the submission defense holds up. He gets out. He said that he was ready for everything that would be thrown at him. In that position, he showed that and proved it. Beautiful ground and pound, and that would cut him. All right, he remains in pursuit of the submission, but the defense continues to hold up. I'm not sure he's going to be able to find a finish here. In MMA today, guys are so well rounded and so gifted. It's hard to just lock up a submission. Oh, he's setting up another submission now. Oh, good technique there. He's got the triangle choke locked in. Oh, look pretty tight, but he gives up on the submission. Oh, this is where you don't want to be, though. Oh, he cut him. He cut him. So many ground strikes landed that eventually he got him cut. Good dexterity and movement here on the ground to avoid any further damage courtesy of that ground and pound. Nice job off of his back by Ali. Now he's going full mount. Ali's in half guard. Oh, nice. Continuing to stay busy here on the ground. All right, so he's got the body locked down here, DC, or so it appears. This is not a guy you want anywhere near your back. Final seconds. Oh. Round three next. All right, there's the horn. The stop, round stop, is over, stop. but not before he was cut on his nose from the strikes in that round. Back to the stool. Cut man is in. Should be able to shut that cut and prevent it from becoming an issue moving forward. But, of course, as soon as he gets struck in that next round, it could open back up. All right, we'll re-rack some replays from the previous round as they attend to that pretty nasty cut in his eye area. You got to lock in defensively, man. You cannot be out there just fighting. His opponent is too high level 
to try to fight him with his ego. Now he's dealing with a nasty cut over his eye. Why do you need another thing to manage when you already got one of the best fighters in the world in front of you? You ready to fight? Ready. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. another strike to the body here and just continues to punish his opponent's body here in this round just like he did in the previous one nice job on defense to block that punch champ that punch no good takedown defense holds up nice work here on the clinch by Ali oh wow how about the roundhouse kick Well, no fear in that process tonight. Both fighters invoking damage on the other side. Yes, we knew this would be very competitive. We knew that this was a tough fight. We knew that both guys would be very even. Oh, slams him down with authority, DC. Now we'll see what he can do with it, but certainly an impactful moment in the round. He slams him down with so much conviction, and nothing is more discouraging for your opponent than being lifted up off of his feet and then slam back down to the mat. Well, we got a lot of blood now, ladies and gentlemen. I think my mother just turned off the TV, but every time that area gets targeted, that cut is getting worse and closer, theoretically, to the end of the fight. Yeah, and, you know, when you got a person like this in front of you that is so good at what they do, when you are bleeding like this and the work is showing, you got to try to find a way to stop him. He needs to try to get a takedown or something because the more he's standing, the more he's going to have to deal with his cut. And now, all the blood that's coming from the cut. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. All right, well, that blow is busting from that cut with each strike landed, and he continues to effectively target that area. You know, we are talking about a guy with a super high fight IQ. So when you give him that blood, that crimson red is nothing more. Oh, arm triangle. Arm triangle. Arm triangle. Oh, look out, folks. That is tight. It looks like it's getting going. Oh, he is out. How good is that? That is phenomenal submission defense by this young man. Really doing a nice job getting these shots home on the ground. Oh, he's got his back. There it is. Now he's going to mount. Just over two minutes now to go. Oh, he's going to try to get All right, so he lets go of the submission now. He let go because he saw that he was going to lose his position. you got to maintain dominant position when you're in a fight. All right, you don't see this every day. North-south position on the ground. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Aspinall. It's a mount. I mean, at this point, you just have to do something. You know, you have to maybe start trying to pull guard, grab him, pull him into you to try to change it and get him in your realm where you have the advantage. Ali's eye is closing up. Yep, got to be very careful there. Oh, good movement to avoid that strike from the top. All right, looks like he's got a couple hooks in here, DC, and defensively, you better be careful. That was nice. Aspinall's back in format. Making all these shots count. Well, he's avoided a lot of the damage here on the ground. Nicely done with the head movement there. Not staying still. Un oh, arm triangle attempt now. Oh, tense moment here. That arm triangle's tight. Oh, and now he gives up on the submission. Put himself in position while he is landing time and time again on that cut. Gonna try to take his opponents back here, and he ducks. Oh, X 
Excellent pressure here from top position by Aspinall. All right, three rounds down, potentially two more to go. We are headed to the championship rounds. All right, back to the stools we go, and that is a really severe cut, so we will monitor him between rounds as they furiously get the cut man in there. Let's get this fight. All right, let us re-rack some replays of the damage done in that round, see if we can isolate the strike that caused the cut. Yeah, a nasty cut opens up when he lands there. It's a beautiful shot that gets to the target. He has not been responsible defensively, and he's really paying for it because now he's dealing with that nasty cut. Ready. Ready. Do we it. have arrived at the fourth round fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. All right, so here we go with our fourth round of a possible five, and a lot of fighters change up their training camp when they're fighting five rounds versus two. Yeah, you got to team it up. You have to mix it up because fighting for an extra 10 minutes is not normal. Guys don't do this normally. It's a 15-minute fight. So you have to do things physically and also mentally to make sure that you're ready to go to that extra 10 minutes. Muhammad Ali's nose is just pouring blood right now. I'm no doctor, Daniel, but I'm not sure that thing isn't broken right now. Straight punch from the clinch here. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Oh, nice. Straight right is there. Aspinall gets caught by another straight punch there. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. All right, so now we start to see some redness underneath the elbow. You got to think he's going to continue to attack the body with all of his strikes. Well, hurt him again. Nice punch lands over the top. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Muhammad Ali's cut is getting worse. The cut man chomping at the bit to get in there. We'll have to wait for the break between rounds if we get there. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Oh! He's in trouble. Damage doled out on both sides. Perhaps some bonus money coming the way of these two individuals at night time. 50K, baby. Somebody's getting paid. These two guys are doing a great job in a fight that is so competitive, that is so evenly matched. These two really will be proud of the effort that they have shown inside the octagon tonight. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. over submission. Very smart. Great fight IQ. Well, this fight... Whoa! Well, 
Well, eventually you know he's going to turn this defense into offense, but he's certainly doing a nice job on the defensive end this They talk about the feeling out process. He's getting his opponent's timing. Now he's blocking everything. Expect counters as we go forward. Muhammad Ali's nose is unrecognizable. It is mangled. It is cut open. I think it's probably broken at this point in time. Surgery next week. But now we'll see if mentally and physically he can stay in the spot. Right hook to the head block. 45 seconds remain in the round. He's cut. Get the elbow. Oh, pretty good technique as he lands the sidekick, DC. Real nice technique to land that sidekick. He did a great job of getting the leg up and then right to the target. Ali's cut on his nose is just pouring blood at this point. You wonder if that's impacting his breathing by now. Stuff the takedown, no problem. 20 seconds to go. These boys are standing right in front of each other, just kind of going at it. Oh, as good a counter striker as there is in the game. Straight right is good. Oh, collar tie. Another big hit. Horn sounds for the end of round four. All right, so that round is in the books. Muhammad Ali's nose has got to be broken. I mean, there is no stopping that blood at this point in time, and ringside physician probably going to come in and take a look. We'll see. All right, well, defense wins championships, and perhaps he can shore some things up there. Here are some replays from the damaging previous round. Well, he's got to. He's got to change some things if he doesn't want this cut to get worse. But hats off to his opponent. His opponent found the target. His opponent knew exactly what he wanted to accomplish, and he got it done. He's got to continue down the path Ready. in order to make the cut yeah. worse. Fifth and final round. Misses with the left hook. Pretty strong jab there by Ali. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues. Oh! Oh, big diving punch to the head. Anytime you are in a ground fight, Aspinall's going for a choke. Oh, he's in trouble here, DC. He's got the triangle with a lot of pressure going down on his opponent. Okay, he's got it. That's it. Oh, he escapes. He got out. I mean, wow, that is a great submission defense. Oh, interesting there is he just decides to let him back up. Nice. Nicely done. Aspinall's cut is getting worse here. Man, is that bleeding. Beautiful jab there by the champ. Well, if body language is any indication, mentally he is not back in this fight after that knockdown earlier in the round. I mean, we thought the fight was over, so I guess it's a credit to him to still even be fighting. But he's got to do something different if he has any designs of winning this fight. Oh, beautiful straight right hand. Aspinall's nose is absolutely mangled at this stage of the fight. I'm no doctor, but I feel pretty convicted in saying that thing is definitely broken, and we might get a ringside physician or a referee to stop this fight here soon. Left punch is clean, followed by a right. Man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop to this contest at one minute, 50 seconds of round number five. He's playing the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world. Well, he came in with the moniker of baddest man on the planet, and that is exactly the way he goes out. Congratulations 
to the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, your winner tonight by way of the KO. And that's a big man celebrating with his team right now. Enjoy it, boys. You maximize the moment tonight.